bakit marami gusto na maging barangay officials? Magkano ba ang sweldo at benepisyo nila? Well, friends, let's answer these questions sa video natin. Opo, five questions po yan. And sasagutin natin sa video ito. Alright? Are you ready to watch the full video? If yes, so let's get started. Disclaimer, ang video content natin ay hindi personal opinion but based from research sa website ng DBM, Department of Budget and Management. Okay? Five questions and answers are the following. Question number one. What is the form of compensation of barangay officials? Answer, the local government code of 1991 provides that barangay officials shall be compensated in the form of honorarium at the amount not less than 1,000 per month for the punong barangay and 600 each per month for the sangguniang barangay members. Barangay treasurer and barangay secretary. EO Number 332 provides that the rates of honorarium prescribed in Section 393 of RA Number 7160 may be increased or adjusted. So friends, very clear. no? So walang sweldo ang mga barangay officials, mga punong barangay, and sa guni ang barangay members, barangay treasurer, and barangay secretary. But ang tawag dyan is honorarium. And very clear also na itong honorarium, although at present, 1,000 sa punong barangay and 600 sa sangguniang barangay members. And of course, barangay treasurer and barangay secretary. At present, 600 yan. Tama ba? Please write in our comment section if may increase na and very clear sa last sentence natin no it is it may be increased or adjusted so anytime po yan mag-increase yan so wait lang po tayo and please watch the last part of our video kasi nandun yung explanation question number two what are the other benefits of punong barangay, sangguni ang barangay members, barangay treasurer, and barangay secretary. Answer, number one, Christmas bonus in the form of cash gift at the rate authorized by law. Number two, insurance coverage under Republic Act 6942 not exceeding 20 in each barangay. Number three, medical care consisting of free hospitalization in government hospitals. In extreme emergency, the same officials may be confined in private hospitals with expenses chargeable against barangay funds at not more than 5,000 per official. Number four, free tuition and matriculation fees in government schools in their area for barangay officials including two of their legitimate dependent children during their term of office only. Next, confirmment of civil service eligibility based on the number of years of service in the barangay and who have completed their term of office. And lastly, preference in appointment to any government position to which they are qualified for the punong barangay and sangguniang barangay members after their term of office. Wow naman, maraming benepisyo ang mga barangay officials. So, ang maganda dito is yung free tuition sa government schools. Pwede pala mag-aral ang mga barangay officials natin. Free. 
And of course, yung two dependents na legitimate children nila. Also, yung Christmas bonus, meron sila. And of course, yung civil service eligibility after their term of office. So, pagtapos na po yung term nila, automatic meron silang civil service eligibility. As a result, pwede sila mag-apply sa mga government offices. Alright, so before we move forward to our third question and onwards, kunting favor po mga new viewers sa channel ko, please hit the subscribe button below and notification bell para updated ka sa mga new videos ko weekly. Thank you and God bless to you. Question number three. Are the incumbent barangay officials entitled to an increase in honoraria? Answer. When barangay officials are entitled to an increase in honoraria, if there is a general salary adjustment authorized by law, the compensation system of barangays has been placed under the salary standardization law. By virtue of Executive Order Number Three Three Two, dated May Sixteen, Nineteen Ninety Six. So, mga friends, mga barangay officials, now we know. Any time pala po yung mag-increase ang sweldo niyo or honorarium or honoraria. Executive Order lang po yan ng President natin of the Philippines. Question Number Four. Do barangay officials earn leave credits? And are they entitled to terminal leave benefits? Answer, the issue may be referred to the Civil Service Commission being the proper authority on this matter. Point of consideration is that barangay officials are not receiving salaries which should be the basis for computation of leave credits under existing law. Question number five. Are barangay officials entitled to the 13th month pay? Answer, no, the 13th month pay is not among the authorized benefits in the government service. This is applicable only in the private sector. Pursuant to RA number 7160 as Im implemented by BC number 2000 Thus, 1B, barangay officials may be entitled to 5,000 cash gift each per year. So, mga friends and barangay officials, wala kayong 13th month pay, but meron kayong 5,000 each per year. Alright? So, hope you like and learn our video content today. So, kung nagustuhan nyo ang content natin, Please share this video to your friends. And kung may comment ka, suggestion, or question, please write in our comment section below. I will make time to read and answer all your questions. See you in my next video. Thank you. God bless. And two thumbs up.